Hey everybody, this is Carl from Toy Wiz, and we're going to take a look at the new comic releases for the week of Wednesday, June 3rd. First up, from DC Comics, we've got Action Comics 1022 from Brian Michael Bendis and John Romita Jr. From Oni, we have the adaptation of Agretzico, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, issue number three. Back to DC, we've got Batman Superman number nine. We've got the special Black Label One-Shot for Birds of Prey from Brian Azzarello and Emanuela Lupacino. Again, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. More importantly, Ms. Lupacino's artwork is phenomenal. So I hope she forgives me for mispronouncing her name because I am a huge fan of her work. Going over to Dynamite Comics, we've got The Boys, Dear Becky. It's a new miniseries coming out from the original creators of The Boys, Garth Ennis and Derek Robertson. From Boom, we've got a Buffy the Vampire Slayer one-shot every generation. Heading back to DC, and let's just move these over the side a little bit there because we have a lot of books this week. We've got the special Catwoman 80th anniversary. That's right, Selina Kyle is turning 80 this year. And here's hoping for another 80 more. In addition to her special anniversary, uh, special anniversary special, Way to repeat yourself there, Carl. In addition to the anniversary special, we also have just plain issue Catwoman, Catwoman issue number 22. Over on the Dark Horse side, we've got Critical Role Vox Machina Origins Series 2 number 6. I recently became a critter back in November of last year, and I've been working my way slowly through all of the, uh, the podcasts. I'm up to issue, issue episode 72 of the second campaign, so I'm almost caught up. Uh, and I gotta say, as much as I love the Mighty Nine, Vox Machina really holds a special place in my heart, and I love that crew, and I can't wait for the full collection of this series. And back to DC, we've got Batman Detective Comics, number 1022. Over at IEW, we have two G.I. Joe offerings this week. First up, the regular G.I. Joe series, number 6, and then G.I. Joe Real American Hero, number 271. Heading back to DC, we've got Justice League Dark, number 22. Over on the Black Label side, and going with something a little less of a book, it's actually a supplement if you'd like to use the material for your Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition campaign. We have uh, the supplement for The Last God. And you may notice the, we actually don't have anything from Marvel this week. It's because uh, while things are still getting... Uh, Resituated, uh, they're only releasing their floppies every other week. So we get a week with uh, the regular comic books, we have a week of trade paperbacks and collections, and we go back to a week of comic books. So uh, that's why we're a little light on the Marvel side this week. But that gives us a little more time to uh, focus on some of the other publishers. Image brings us Nailbiter Returns. The original Nailbiter series was fairly popular, a thriller about a town that produced an abnormal amount of serial killers. Uh, and the uh, detectives who were trying to figure out what it was about this town that was generating so many sociopaths, psychopaths, uh, I'm not sure what the proper clinical term is, but bad, bad people. And uh, so we have Nailbiter Returns with uh, the, the titular Nailbiter, the serial killer who was known for biting the fingernails off of his victims, coming back for another story. Speaking of murder mysteries, Dynamite is uh, going once again with uh, presenting a more dark, noir version of uh, many people's childhood favorite sleuths, Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys, in the new miniseries, Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys, The Death of Nancy Drew. Coming from Image, we've got the second in a series of four original graphic novels. Uh, the series is called November. It's by uh, Matt Fraction and Elsa, I'm going to screw up this name again, Charitier. I hope I got it right. I'm sorry if I didn't. Uh, again, following along with kind of a crime thriller, we have uh, these three women who are who become involved in this massive uh, criminal mess over one night in November. Uh, volume one was very popular, and this is the second installment. Sticking with Image, we've got Postal Deliverance number eight under their Top Cow label. From IDW, we've got Ragnarok: The Breaking of Helheim number five featuring uh, work from Walt Simonson, a very popular favorite, a legend with good reason. Going back to Image, we have the Dark Swords and Sorcery series, Reaver, by Justin Jordan and Nikoro Anishon. 
so many names I'm horrible with. <laughs> and that's Reaver number eight. From Xenoscope, as part of their Grim Fairy Tales universe, we've got Robin Hood Vigilante, number six. And let's create a new stack. From Archie Comics, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Something Wicked, number one. Back to DC, going a little more, more all ages. Scooby-Doo, Where Are You, number 104. Sticking with DC, we got Shazam, number 12. Going to IDW, we have Star Trek Year 5, number 11. And finally, back to DC, we have the Swamp Thing Giant, number 4. And those are your new releases for the week of Wednesday, June 3rd, 2020. Uh, these are all going to be going up on our curbside pickup site. You can also find them just on toywiz.com. Well, uh, yeah, most of them, eventually all of them. And, uh, yeah, we have them. If you're looking for comics, you can come get them. Uh, but most importantly, stay safe, uh, be well, keep on reading, and we will see you next time.